Hi, my lovely people. Before I start the video, I just want to tell my storm chasers, thank you for all the support and all the love. I know I'm not here on this app as much as I used to be. I know I don't go live, but you guys are steady bringing the numbers up and you steady rock with your girl. So therefore, I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. And now let's get into this reaction. Ooh, wait, <laughs> let's start right here with this messy, messy screenshot. See, this is what gets me with Jasmine when she gets on here and she says, Oh, y'all, I'm a master editor. Y'all just find things to pick on me about. Girl, just take a look at this. Who would look at this when they are editing and leave this in? This right here is totally off. First off, you got your big old arm with your prison tattoo where the ink is uh, fading off. I don't know what it says. We don't know what it used to be. We don't even care what it used to be. Then you have your face at the top that has all this bumps and acne hanging out. And then you want to say, Oh, this is something that I edited and I put out. And then we got the thighs. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Bombs over Baghdad, honey. You want to sit here and you want to tell us that we just react to any old thing? Well, that screenshot right there, baby, proves that you either, A, don't watch the own, your own videos before you edit them. B, you just too distracted because Chris ain't home and you just want to get some content out. And then C, that you don't care how you make your money, even if it's making yourself look like a fool. Now, let's get into this reaction because I had to get that out the way. So, Jasmine keeps saying, oh, the real reason why y'all don't see my van, the real reason why I'm walking my kids to school, girl... Girl, why don't you just get on here and say, hey, y'all, when I got pulled over, because we've seen the court documents, I didn't have any insurance. The registration was not valid. And my uh, car is in my mama's name. Not to boot, when I got a speeding ticket, okay, a few months ago and I did not pay it, now my license are suspended. I mean, is it that hard to sometimes just tell the truth? I mean, girl, why don't you just say it? We know the car is A, at your mama's house, or B, still in the impound. And we know that y'all went and got y'all vehicles from a buy here, pay here. Typically, a buy here, pay here. I've went through the boot with a buy here, pay here before. Once your stuff is all towed away and everything like that, honey, them buy here, pay here's, them uh, tow companies and things of that nature, they charge you um, through the boohoo. When I tell you, you're going to be charged almost $100 a day for your car to sit there. But not only that, honey, the tow alone is going to be about $80. Then they're going to add on this fee, that fee. Uh, do you have to go get your registrations right, your license right, and all this to pick it up? I don't think that Mama Dukes uh, went to pick the car up because... Hell, it costs too much. I think that Jasmine is sitting at home trying to come up with a plan because tax time is right around the corner. I'm going to bet this and make sure you heard it here first. We'll see her driving in her vehicle when we know taxes have started hitting. She's either going to go get a new one because she has her taxes or she's going to go finally pay the fees that she needs to to get the old one. But baby, it ain't about that. It's how she's trying to swing it, right? She's trying to swing it and play us like we dumb, like we blind, and we don't see it. Jasmine, okay, you walk to go get your kids from school. Hey, whoopty smack smack. Happy to see it because guess what? You in Texas, y'all have nice weather. You don't have a winter like this, okay? So yeah, oh, we going for a walk because it calms legendary down and it allows us to get out the house. Oh, what, for that day? Because, honey, we have seen you walking them to the school bus in the dark morning hours. Oh, I guess it was 80 degrees then and the weather was nice and you was trying to calm down legendary, right? Early in the morning. Jasmine, girl boo, we know, number one, okay, that you are a lie. Number two, we know you're not going to get up at the crack of dawn and take no morning brisk walk. You don't even, you used to show you dropping your kids off at school in the morning. Now you just show them. After you showed you walking them to school, now all you do is you show them getting ready at the door and then boom, you're, you, I'm back from taking the kids to school, y'all. Take a look over here. That's how you try and play it off. But see, I find a few things funny with this, right? Because we know Chris ain't got no job. He ain't got no job. Tommy ain't got no job. I mean, we know that. So why... Our, did we catch you walking your kids to school one morning? Was he not home? Was he on an overnight basketball league? That video is still funny, y'all. What was he doing that he was not home that he couldn't get up and drive those kids to school? Also, we know that when he is home, the reason that you show the kids getting ready at the door and then boom, you're back home and you're doing everything is because you dropped, jumped in his truck, went and took the kids to school and you don't want us to see that you have to drive his truck to drop them off at the bus stop in the morning. Girl, you can't. 
When I t why can't you just stop clickbaiting? I mean, I could have swore I heard you say that you ain't going to address none of the negativity in the new year. You also said that you done with all the clickbaiting, you done with all the um, drama and everything else. But every video that you have dropped this year has a clickbait title that has nothing to do with going on in the video. That's number one. Number two, you won't ever admit to anything. And number three, you still full of drama. I mean, y'all, I'm seriously, I'm lost with this lady. It's like what comes out of her mouth, she don't even listen to. And then when she says it, she still don't even regurgitate it when she goes to edit her videos. Because you need someone to talk about you, Jasmine. Just Let's just say that. You claim that you have, what, almost 60,000 subscribers over there, but you are getting two and three 3,000 views. And then unless it has a clickbait or a drama title, then you can get maybe 10,000. Something that reactors get just talking about you. We get the same numbers talking about you. So that should be a real shame. And you should wonder, you know, what exactly is going on? But anywho, you know, that is just how I look at it. But I'm going to say this. There ain't no car. There ain't no nothing. Jasmine, if you are falling down that bad, where is your man to pick you up? You really thought you was out here doing something when he got on here to talk about Medusa and he made himself like a fool, digging in his belly button and smelling it and letting his gut hang out. So why can't he ever have your back behind the scenes or on the scenes? Like, girl, didn't you have to go get that car in your name? Then it got stolen. Then it got towed and everything else. Then it got repo. I mean, we don't know what the story is, but we know that once it was, uh-huh, repo, the very next day, this girl was at that lot. She came up with that money. He was getting his car back. So what is taking you so long to get your vehicle back? Why can't your man have your back the way you have his? Why can't he go and get your car so that y'all can uh, both have y'all vehicles? Oh, then another question. What happened to the Mountaineer? Because if we are correct, didn't Jasmine show the Mountaineer and say, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to fix it up so that we can have three vehicles in case something happens to one of them. Well, wouldn't this be the in case something happened to one of them? Shouldn't you be able to spark up that damn Mountaineer and get to rolling in them smoking tires? No, because guess what? You took that Mountaineer and you used it as a trade-in to get Chris that truck. And now you are left with no vehicle, but he can drive around and he can bounce his balls all around town. And you have to sit at home stuck coming up with clickbait titles and coming up with things to say that make absolutely no sense. When I tell you, baby, you can't make this up. When it comes to Jasmine, you can't make it up. So my predictions are this, guys, like I said. Give it till around tax time. Then she'll get on here and she'll be driving something new. I don't think that Jasmine is the type of person that cares about, you know, credit or going and getting something out of pond or pound. And she don't mind, you know, dicking her mama over. She just don't. She'll come on here with something new and she'll make up an excuse and say, oh, we were having troubles with this car or something of that nature because it's Jasmine. But I wanted to check in on the car situation. I will see you guys in the comments below. Y'all have a wonderful day.